Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have the P400. Not the P40, not the P39, not the P63, the P400. This is a plane that I've never given the light a day in my whole War Thunder career. Maybe it's because it only has 60 rounds of 20 millimeter. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. It just wasn't a plane that I was that into. And I got to apologize to game over underscore 47 for neglecting his high voted comments for the last two months. I got to tip my hat to you, man. Your perseverance or, or determination has been awesome to get this thing on the channel. But he says uh, this was a play on to my voice attack video about me not getting an ace. So if I didn't get an ace, I have to play the P400. But he's also had many comments in the past. Anyways, he says, no ace. You know what that means. P400 time fly. And then maybe that saying turned me away too. Um, I'm going to completely botch this, but it's kind of on the lines of, <laughs> this is, might be so entirely wrong. Uh, what's the difference between a, a P40 and a P400? And then you would answer, uh, the P40 doesn't have a zero on its tail or the P400 has a zero on its tail. So that made me think that this plane, well, it had a lot of things behind it that would like to shoot it. And uh, normally when things shoot you from the rear, chances are you're going to get hit and you're going to get set on fire and then you're going to burn and die and no one's going to ever hear you hear from you again. I know it's a really sad story. But today we're going to clean slate. We're going to check out this plane. I mean, battle rating 2.3 with, good Lord, like, 3,600 or 660 rounds of ammunition. We got 60, 20 mils. We got 540, 50 mils or Jesus, 50 cows. And then we have 3,000, 7.62. So we're going to be able to stay in the fight for a long time. So yeah, if you guys have any planes you guys want to see on the channel, let me know in the comments below. We got to be playing some more planes. I mean, this is War Thunder. It's not only War Thunder ground forces. All right. Let me know comments below and uh wish me luck so we are going to be versing the russians at 2.3 to 3.3 i we're going to see some yaks you know, some some yak ones yak sevens low tier la5 uh mig three with the with the 50 cows um i don't know i oh yeah lag three there we go and a, uh oh we got a trader we got a lend lease p39k on the enemy team Yak one off to our left. We're going to decrease our climb so we can pick up some airspeed. The Spitfire on our team is starting to trail over to my direction. Yak one has turned straight towards me or straight north or south, excuse me. Putting up some speed here. Let's pitch down. We're in it. I don't understand that. <laughs> no, never to this day I'll understand a head-on. It's like you climb for a good four minutes, maybe three, and you, and, you, and you just let it all go. Let it all go. You could have turned off, got behind him, and, uh, okay. I-16 coming in. Is that our Spitfire? No, F2A. We have the advantage now, at least on this side. P-39 coming in from the right. Now, where's this Yak-1? Yak-1's turning. Ooh, decent turn rate. Nothing special, but decent. I can work with this. Yeah, I'm going to fake to the Yak one like I'm going down for this I-16. Actually, I'm going to try to help out here. Ooh, 20 mil did not connect. I think our 7.62 did, though. Okay, lag three still up high. Yak one's diving down. This Yak one has to see me. P39 behind us. This guy's going to be fast here. Maybe we can see if he can overshoot.
He is highly compressed. Okay, now we're going to use our energy that we saved and try to catch him in this climb here. So he shouldn't be over 680 anymore. Pops coming out. Small arms here. So what I've noticed from this plane is that it doesn't have really good elevator authority. So in those maneuvers, I don't know how I got away with them, honestly, uh, but I, I wasn't able to pitch up as much as I wanted to do those rolls. Maybe that was my very low airspeed, but um, we still got away with deploying those landing flaps. But to deploy those landing flaps, we have to be at a slow enough speed. And if we would have kept them out too long, um, we would have ripped them off. You definitely want some of this booty here. There goes the wing over. Very nicely done. And yeah, here we go. He's gonna be fast. We're gonna cut off his angle here. Now we got 20, 20 mils left. I'm not gonna fall for it yet. We're gonna keep our airspeed up. This is going to be challenging. Just trying to get rid of his energy. I'm going to try to bait him again. Make, make him think that he's much faster than us. Call for some backup just in case we get nailed. He's starting to get agitated. Now we've, we've gone left two times. Whoa. That was weird. Was that, was that a bait from him? But we might be able to stall him now. Ah, oh, friendly's inbound. Awesome. Okay. We're going to pitch down here. Keep it level. So when he does dive, we'll be able to track him e easier. No, he really wants this. Okay, his energy has been neutralized. We're faster than him. Now, I'm going to try to bugger off and see if he'll get distracted on that A36. Okay, good. The A36 is competent. He sees what's happening. Oh, well, I'll see what's happening here. We have more energy than him right now.
Wait, wait, hold fire. I think the A36 might, might have gotten him. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, that might be the last guy. No, we still got two more guys up. Yeah, Hurricane over here. I mean, the, the, the really nice thing is, is that we have so much ammo left to stay in the fight. And what we don't have a lot more of is fuel. And we got a Hurricane and the A20G. The A20G could easily kill this Hurricane, uh, but it's all up to how he sets it up. There we go. Simple as that. One more down. And then we got Hitman. I'm going to climb a little bit. We do have a blind hunt. Well, how do we get there? Tab, orders. We'll put an Avenger out first. Whoa. Well, we're en route here. We're just cloud surfing right now, trying to skim it, not to get into it so we can maintain visual, at least with our blip here. Seven, six, see in the bottom left. We're maybe about 800 meters above it, and it's gone. All right, good. We still have contact. Now, we have 20 cannon rounds left. We're going to come in at a 45-degree angle above them, and then we're going to lace them with 7.7 .7 or 7.62 and 50 cal, and hopefully right before we leave them, we'll douse them with those remaining 20 mils. There we go. solid the really nice thing about this p400 is that you have a huge dispersion like there's so many rounds flying and at the range that we were engaging we were outside our 300 meters or 400 meter of convergence that i was set to and so with that you hit a lot of things you don't aim for and sometimes the things you don't aim for are people's domes and we were able to pilot snipe them pretty darn easily Oh my gosh, poor fucking Wellington. Wellington, hang in there. Hang in there, Wellington. Oh, wow, that didn't last long. I thought my words of encouragement would help out, but holy shit, we've got a lot of enemy planes uh, mid-altitude. We got two high altitude, but they are losing it entirely in this dive. I think they're working together, maybe. Get a Spitfire up high, 10 kilometers away, going for a... Okay, now he's coming back to us. This guy has no way of pitching for us. We'll just pitch up a little bit more. Jesus. Okay, our turn. Take that rudder. Flap it up. Now, I'm going to go after the C200 first, if possible, just because he's more nimble. <laughs> he opened right up for us. No real damage at all. Okay, the 110 is coming in. He still won't be able to get the look on us. I think his energy will neutralize very, very soon. We'll keep this bait going up for the Spitfire. Okay, he's off us. Take the rudder again. Flap it out. Here comes that 200. We might burst him here. Didn't have enough pull. He was too slow. He couldn't pitch up for us. Okay, another 200 down low. That time, I think the 20 millimeter connected. Okay, let's just observe our altitude here. Make sure no one's above us. Good. Now, where did that 200 just go? I fucking hate that. He was just here. Okay, let's not get too fast. There was a 200. Aye, aye, aye. Maybe he's in the mix. No, I don't see him. Maybe he died. Hopefully he died. Okay, never mind. We're going to switch targets. We're going to go after... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I'm freaking out. Don't want to be too fast here, but I still want to keep the uh, pressure up. Made it up right there. Had a really poor approach the first time around. Okay, we got a C200 behind us. 
We're going to be able to out-climb him here. And we actually might take him for a little spin, a little, little turning climb. We have a ton of energy. Looks like he just pulled off of us. Oh, he's got two diving on him right now. He better think quick. Okay, we're in we're third in line here. And we have enough rounds for this 109. We're gonna dive all the way. Dive all the way down, build as much energy as possible. What is this P40 doing? Okay, I think he overshot a little bit. We got a, we got an F4U in front. I'm third, or I'm second, excuse me. I don't want to, I don't want to shoot over this F4U's shoulder. Nice B40, well done. Shit, boys! What a clean! What a clean! Holy cow! Now we have two more guys left. We're gonna try to burn all our speed back into altitude here. And we'll call it out. Ugh, god dang it. Third time's the charm. We'll do another uh, Avenger. Tango left. On the runway. Okay, so a little update here. The triple one has now taken off. Trying to let him extend far enough away from his airfield that the anti-air won't mess with me. Now, I do have the Spitfire with us. He's going to be first in line. And he actually has a wingman. Huh. I didn't even see that guy at all. So now it just got a little, little more interesting. H-111 is not a priority anymore. They're going to full power here. I think this 100 is going to try to stall. That's good enough. Any faster and we're going to compress. Easy 400. Okay, good. That's what I want it. Scared him. All right, a little bit higher here. Start it with the uh, small arms first. Woo! I think he took a lot. I think that was about 16 accurate rounds. Now, we didn't shoot where we were supposed to. We shot for his empennage. So we definitely took out some gunners and what, but we didn't really hurt the plane's overall, I guess, performance. Like we didn't really take down any ailerons. We're going to try to aim for one of the wings here. God, are you slow. Okay, let's see if we can do this better here. One gun jammed. One gunner's up. There we go. Tango down. Woo! That thing put up a fight and a half. Now, my overall feeling of the P400 is that I don't think it's special at all. I mean, I think to get your kills, you kind of have to um, take your time, climb up a little bit more than you would. I just feel this plane's a little sluggish. It doesn't turn as well as other planes at this BR. It's just, it's, it's mediocre at best. It does, it does things well, but uh, nothing that I look for in an aircraft. But still, if you play it right, you, you should be able to enjoy it. Guys, any more planes, let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, and until next time, peace out.